I am beautiful. I am worthy. I am fertile. My fertility goddess. Hello, my beautiful fertility goddesses and my fertility gods. Welcome to your TTC messages. This is a mini fertility goddess reading. Um, a mini, a little bit of the fertility goddess package that I offer as a personal read. Um, in this reading, we're going to dive into gender timing signs, symptoms, numbers of surrounding your future pregnancy, as well as if you are currently heading towards conception through your current actions. Okay. Um, now, as far as the Fertility Goddess package, which you can find on my website, link down below in the description box and in the comment section, this, it includes all of that. Plus, it also includes messages surrounding if your baby is in line for conception currently and kind of what's going on on their end. A lot of goddesses really enjoy the Fertility Goddess package because we dive into baby's energy and we also dive into mama's energy or papa's energy, okay? Like, what is it that's happening on both ends and are you guys aligning together? So if that sounds like something that interests you, definitely check it out. The link is listed down below in the description box and in the comment section. The reading also includes what can you do to help your baby come to earth and will you be conceiving your baby naturally and then so much more, whatever comes through. If you've gotten a personal reading from me, you know that I just, whatever comes through is what I mentioned, okay? So, <laughs> so that's what you can find in the personal reading. But in this mini one here in our pick a card, we're going to be covering the messages that I mentioned prior. Now, before before we jump into your reading, of course, we have to pick our pile, okay? So we have pile one, two, and three here. Um, I'm not going to put any crystals on there. I want you to just choose through your intuitive feelings, okay? Whatever you're feeling, whichever pile you're feeling drawn to, go ahead and select that one. That is the pile for you. That is a message for you. All the timestamps are down below in the comment section and in the description box. So I will see you in your reading. Hello, my beautiful fertility goddesses and my fertility gods who chose pile number one. Welcome to your TTC mini fertility goddess reading, okay? You're here because you are trying to conceive, okay? You are on this journey to baby, um, either into, by yourself or with your partner, okay? Um, and you wanna know more about how your journey is getting ready to unfold or how it's going to unfold. Maybe you're coming to see if you're currently pregnant, okay? Maybe you're looking for some messages surrounding that. Um, but in this reading, we're gonna look at the gender of your baby, timing surrounding your pregnancy, signs that you will see, symptoms that you will experience, numbers that you will also see, or that may be significant to your journey. And then I'm going to end your reading with the question, are you heading towards conception at this current time through the actions that you're taking, okay? Um, now, the card that we have here is your gender card. So this is going to be represent the gender of your baby. And then we have a few other cards that are already selected, such as the timing, and then the very last message. We're gonna live shuffle the, the symptoms as well as the sign in between okay now if this sounds like something you want to dive deeper into for yourself please remember this is a person or a um, collective reading so it's not necessarily personal but I do have the fertility goddess package which is a personal reading and that one includes so much more in it you can actually check that out in the comment section and you can also click the link to go ahead and book this with me if you'd like okay if you're watching this when I post it I am offering um, a couple of packages at this time for my birthday week um, same day delivery and the Fertility Goddess Package is one of those for today, okay? So if you're watching this on the day that I post it, which is Sunday 9, uh, what is, what is Sunday? 17, okay, Sunday 9, 17, um, then you can receive this reading on the same day, okay? Um, so anyways, let's jump in, let's get started. So we're gonna start off with the gender of your future baby. So for pile number one, you guys are having baby boys, okay? You may already feel this energy. Um, you may feel a lot of masculine energy around you when you're connecting with your baby or maybe urges to do stuff, right? If you think about masculinity, it really revolves around like the need to do, the need to take action. So your baby could be urging you to do, you know, take action and do things and take charge, especially this card. Take control with the emperor energy, okay? Um, as a sign from them or an energy that they are near. As far as their um time frames okay we have a couple of time frames here um i'm not sure what they are i'm going to flip them over they may all resonate with each other or they may be all different please know this is a collective reading so please take what resonates and leave the rest 
Um, and also, disclaimer, none of this is meant to replace any type of medical or any type of health advice you may have already received from a professional, okay? Um, but we're gonna look at some timing here. And like I said, this timing may not resonate with everyone because it's a collective reading, but I do have the Fertility Goddess Package as a personal reading if you're interested in getting a personal message, okay? So let's see what we have here. We're gonna start off with this one here. So the first one I have is the Six of Wands to show me Leo season. Because some of you guys may be conceiving your baby or giving birth to them during Leo season. We also have the Empress, oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm getting two messages just with this one here. Um, I'm actually picking up three. So we have Libra energy, we have Gemini season, and we also have, I'm sorry, Libra, maybe Gemini, because I said Gemini, but we have Libra energy, and we also have Taurus energy here. And some of you guys may be currently pregnant, okay? If you were coming to see if there's a possibility of pregnancy at this time, I do feel like there may be a possibility for some of you here. We have a Six of Wands and the Empress. This is, show, this is showing me victory, okay, and pregnancy. So this is success energy here, okay? And then we also have the Hierophant, which is also Taurus energy. So heavy Taurus here. Um, we also have April. This is April, May, and this is March, April. So the month of April could be really significant in terms of timing surrounding conception or the birth of your baby. And then also, of course, Leo season and Libra season. Okay, so that's what I've seen as far as timing goes. Now let's do some live shuffling here. We're going to look at um, the sign of your little one is going to show you around the time of conception, something that you are going to see. Um, I just heard that some of you guys may actually be more in tune with self around the time of conception. This feels like more so you learning about your, um, like your, your bloodline, okay? I'm hearing like ancestor energy, so you may be learning about like your history, okay? The history of you and your family. Family trees can be important, finding, you know, connecting with old, you know, family family you never met before there could be like something like that going on for some of you guys is what i'm hearing um, around the time of conception but let's see what your sign will be okay so your sign of conception here we have the seven of pentacles i really am picking up i'm gonna see what bird this is specifically so so that we can i think is it i don't know if this is a raven i don't think it is it might be though i'm gonna look in the book but what i'm also noticing is we have this nest here with these golden eggs and so i do feel like you may see a nest okay a nest or a um oh we even have a dragonfly here so i'm gonna take this one out too it's on the bottom of the deck and i love how we have the dragonflies the ace of wands so there's definitely something about like um, a lot of fertile energy surrounding you right now or a lot of action being taken that is leading to conception okay which i feel like is already your answer to your last question but we're gonna dive deeper into that in a bit um but i do see here we have the eggs so you may notice a nest with some eggs in it or some eggs that have been like looked like um like bird eggs that the have already hatched okay um you may run into that um and then i want to look at the book to see what kind of bird that is if i can find my book um can i if you booked a personal reading with me you know i always use my book because these birds are these birds oh here it is okay these um cards have very specific animals on them like ones that i've never heard of before okay and sometimes I think they're one thing, but there's something else. So let me see this one here. Seven of Pentacles is a raven. It is a raven, okay? So you may see a raven, okay? Or you may see, oh, there's a couple of things. Okay, a raven, I'm seeing the nest, the nest with the eggs in it, the golden eggs or the egg shells that have already been hatched. I'm also seeing, and this is like not like eggs in, from the house, right? This is like um, in terms of hatching of the shell. This is like the shell is open, but it's in a nest or it's on the ground, on the grass, and the bird is already, you know, is out of it. Um, or you see a dragonfly. The other thing that I'm hearing is there may be something significant with eggs at home. So not necessarily that you see egg shells, but there could be something like maybe you're doing an egg cleanse around the time of conceiving. There could also be something in regards to you have a double yolk, okay? There could be like some significance to you finding a double yolk. If you're cooking eggs or your yolk may shape like a baby, okay? <laughs> so those are some signs that baby's on the way, as well as blue feathers. I'm noticing how this raven has like bluish purple tail feathers. So you may see a blue feather while you're walking down the street or, um, you know, you may see a video or post on social media with blue feathers. And I also want to say that too, with your sign, it doesn't necessarily just have to be in relation to um, 
like seeing it in real life. It can also be in relation to something that you see on social media, on TV, in a movie, okay? Um, someone on the front of, cover of a book, okay? So um, be mindful of that. I feel like the more, the closer you get to conception, the more you'll see. Some of you guys are already seeing these signs because you are currently pregnant or you will be very soon, okay? Um, I'm recording this in Virgo season, but Libra season is literally like in a week, I think, or less, okay? So, um, so that we're right here, okay? We're right here. Some of you guys could have conceived in Virgo season and you're gonna find out you're pregnant in Libra season, okay? Or you're going to conceive in Libra season. So um, I see that as well. Now, as far as your symptoms of pregnancy, we looked at a lot of signs or we got a lot of signs here. Let's look at some symptoms. So we have the lips energy. So I do feel like you're going to be very hungry um, or there's going to be like some changes to your eating habits, whether you have aversions or you are wanting more food, okay? Um, let's see what else we have here. What else do we have, Spirit? As far as a, some of you guys are going to be monitored very closely by your doctor. And if this is your message, this is something that you're already aware of. This is something you've already discussed with your doctor, or this is something you intuitively feel like you want to do because of past experiences in pregnancy or being high risk based on other things going on with your body. So really listen to your body um, as it tells you like, you know, pregnancy is here or near. Okay. We also have the crown chopper here, which is showing me that you could experience headaches. Okay, headaches can also be a sign of pregnancy for you, migraines, okay, and consistent ones, the ones that just, you know, won't go away or they go away, but they come back. Um, so that can also be a sign of pregnancy for you as well. Pressure headaches is what I just heard. We also have the hands, okay, and we have the shoulders, okay, so it says, I think these two go together. It says the weight of the world on that card and the hands says a helping hand guidance. So that's exactly what I was saying. I feel like someone's going to be receiving guidance, close guidance during pregnancy, okay, because this is something that you've discussed with your doctor already. And then with the weight of the world, you could be feeling stressed, okay? There could be tension in your muscles, um, muscle cramping as a sign of pregnancy. Um, but also I'm picking up, you could experience tender, um, tender breast and you may feel the tension um, under your arms, okay? Like under your arms. And for my cross watchers, of course, my fertility gods, if you're watching for your partner, these can be some of her symptoms, but you may also pick up some sympathy symptoms, okay? So this could be like you having the headaches or um, you having the increase in, in appetite or the decrease in appetite, okay? So are feeling super stressed out, are feeling very tense in your muscles, okay? Muscle, I heard like someone could literally be, for. so this is definitely a message for a cross watcher or this could be your partner experience this they just showed me like something about your muscle by your neck and your shoulder like your partner could be working out and they could pull a muscle or they could like a strain a muscle like by while well, from working out from exercising okay but I feel like this is your partner's energy not necessarily yours okay Alrighty, and Spirit wants me to point out the bottom of the deck. We have the sacral chakra, which is the womb space itself. So you could also just feel some weird twinges, pulling sensations in your womb space. Okay, so be mindful of that as well. As well as like, you know, the the regular um, mist cycle spotting, you know, implantation symptoms, like everyone may not spot, but you may have like an a change in your cervical fluids or a streak of blood in your cervical fluids, right? So um, it'll be different for everybody, but you may also experience implantation symptoms. Now, as far as numbers go here, I am seeing the number one, the number 14, the number two, and the number 22. Oh, we have 222. So 222 is an angel number that you may be seeing a lot. We also have the number four here, the number three, the number six, and this is the number five. Okay, so I'm seeing one through six to be significant for you. So the number, the first through the sixth of a month can be significant in terms of the date you conceive, date you find out you're pregnant, um, your little one's due date. It could be a date of your very first doctor's appointment to confirm pregnancy or your ultra, very first ultrasound date, okay? Um, I'm also hearing the 13th and the 14th. Some of you guys are going to be getting positive pre a positive pregnancy test on 13 or 14 DPO, maybe even 12 DPO. Um, and then with the 20, number 22, that's very significant too. This can also represent like an age or something like that, okay? I'm hearing with the number 22. I forgot we have the ace again and we have the seven. So it could be the first through the seventh of a month. So the first through the seventh of a month can be very significant for you, okay? 
Ooh, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Okay, so we're almost done with your mini read. We're now going to dive into your last few messages, which is, are you currently heading towards conception through your actions, okay? Through the actions that you're taking. We obviously have the Empress here. We all we obviously have the Six of Wands. Um, and I do feel like the majority of you guys are, but I'm going to look at these um, Oracle cards that I've already um, pre-shuffled, okay? And see what they say. So we have in the flow, everything is smooth sailing. We have you are strong beyond measure. We have beneath the surface lies great bounty, uncovering treasure. We also have journey by moonlight, believe in magic, and the answers are within, okay? Taking shelter. So some of you guys are definitely pregnant. I am seeing here uncovering treasure where it looks like she's like awe in awe looking at her treasure here. This is like, I, to me, her look is like a mother who is like nurturing her baby. You know what this look reminds me of? This reminds me of the movie Shrek where the dragon was so in love with um, donkey <laughs> and she was like looking at donkey like and with her like goo goo eyes right this just gives me nurturing energy so I definitely feel like there's something here that's beneath the surface such as some there's a, a pregnancy that's brewing or there's something that you may not um, yet know of okay um, and right here it says the answers are within so once again I do feel like there could be a pregnancy with this um, this pile and I also see here for others, okay, you are in the flow. If you're not pregnant yet, you are heading towards it. You are really meant to use your inner light to guide you. We have the taking shelter with the inner light here. Um, he has his own, he or she has their own light. And then here as well, right? This is the leader. Um, some of you guys are being called to... Huh, I feel like we have a, the emperor here, which is the energy of taking control. I feel like you are being called to remain in control or to regain control depending on where your journey is um, based on like, but that means like you regaining control or taking control surrounds your, um, it surrounds your, you following your inner light. Okay. Like there's no external. It doesn't feel like this is external regain of control. This feels like internally. Okay. Because here we have. I always call her Mrs. Claus. We have Mrs. Claus here sitting in the sleigh and she has her light here, of course, that's leading her to lights actually. And she's, her hands are tied, like she's not doing anything. She's allowing the divine to guide her, right? She's being led by Rudolph and his reindeer. <laughs> and so um, I definitely sit, see that you're not meant to take much external action or make much, many external changes because I don't see that. I don't see changes here at all. You're just meant to continue to move in the Flow. A lot of you guys, if not all, okay, the majority of you are moving in flow right now, okay? A lot of you are just following your inner light and that's exactly what you're meant to do. So are you heading towards conception right now? Yes, okay, I definitely believe that you are. I'm going to ask Spirit for an outcome card before we close out your reading here. Let me see, Spirit, show me the outcome of them, them being in flow, okay? What is the outcome of them remaining in flow? Okay, what is the outcome of them remaining in flow? The Nine of Wands, and on the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. Okay, so let's see, and then we have the Seven of Wands, I mean, Seven of Pentacles and the Hanged Man. Okay, so I feel like by you remain, by remaining in flow, I feel like it's going to, I feel like there's going to be some assistance or some sort of um, divine intervention that is going to help assist any um, difficulties that you may have had in the past or that you may have been experiencing in your journey okay I feel like surprisingly like it says here believe in magic there's something that's very um, miraculous or magical that's happening in your journey or that's going to happen that's going to catch you off guard but I do see ultimately here with the page of cups you are going to be led into the space of um, of like good news, you know, returning to you, um, as well as I wanted to say opportunity. So there could be some opportunities to come in as well from you remaining in flow, okay? Um, and these opportunities come from you allowing the divine to intervene in the way that they need to, right? And you being open to and receptive to um, working with those energies, working with their energies, because I do feel like you're co-creating with spirit at this time, and that's why you're meant to allow the divine to lead you, and then you lead yourself as well. 
level, okay? So it's like a back and forth energy. You're alleviating the pressure from yourself to do all the things because you're allowing the divine to also do their part, okay? Um, and this could also be in relation to you collaborating with the doctor, with the Hierophant energy here, or someone who's just very knowledgeable and can help guide you through your journey, okay? Um, let's see what else we have here. What is the outcome of stepping into power? What is your outcome of stepping into power? I feel called to that, ask that one and one more. So what is the outcome to stepping into power? We have the nine of, uh, nine of swords <laughs> and the knight of swords and the ace of pentacles. I love it. Okay. And then we have a king of swords on the bottom of the deck. So this is, this is me seeing that by you step into power, you are alleviating or cutting away with the knight of swords. He's literally running towards the nine, um, showing me that he is like enough is enough. He's, you know, he has an idea. He's deciding to pursue something that maybe he was feeling a bit anxious about. So I feel like by you regaining control over um, your inner light, allowing your inner light to guide you and not being influenced by the external circumstances happening around you or past experiences, I feel like you're going to be able to cut away or reduce certain um, um, feelings of anxiety, okay, or worry and pursue an idea or pursue a... Um, a truth that has been given to you and I feel like that is going to here's that opportunity that I was I was hearing there's an opportunity and here it is the ace of pentacles okay and pursue this opportunity that spirit is going to give to you um to help either bring in some sort of stability to your body or to help plant the seed of your baby right implantation planting the seed um so I love that for you and now I want to clarify with the moonlight spirit um, what is the outcome of them journeying by moonlight and believing in the magic, okay? What is the outcome of this? We have the seven of wands, which literally means the same thing. You believing in the magic. You stepping into that phase of belief, right? Um, you're getting ready to enter into a brand new um, phase of your journey, which I feel for a lot of you guys, this is going to be surrounding conception. For others, this may be surrounding your inner moon cycle. I feel like by you believing in, the, in magic, believing that there is a possibility for change, you are either, you know, soon to, or you already have um, stepped into a space where your inner moon cycle is steady. It's a steady flow is what I'm hearing, okay? So if you've had irregular cycles, um, then this is like your cycle becoming regular. If you have had hormonal imbalances, whatever they may be, this is your hormones balancing themselves out. Um, this is like you believing that what it is that you have been trying to achieve um, are within your health or within your mind, within or your mindset, within your emotional state, you can achieve. And by you believing and continuing to fight for this, continue to advocate for yourself, you are going to step into this brand new phase. The one that you knew was already coming, the one you knew already belonged to you, okay? Like, I know that I'm destined to have regular cycles. It's just, it's normal for me, right? And that's what you say, it's normal for me. And so you step into that space. So, uh, beautiful okay so continue to believe in the magic okay believe in the magic because it's definitely heading your way so this is what i have for you pal number one thank you so much for being here my beautiful ttc mamas and my ttc papas um if you want to let me know down below how this resonates with you i would love to hear it i love to converse with you guys and if i don't get a chance to reply then i definitely like to read them all and like them okay um and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel join the family okay uh thank you guys so much for being here and i'm sending you so much in love and light and of course baby dust bye hello my beautiful fertility goddesses and my fertility gods who are trying to conceive welcome to your ttc mini fertility goddess reading we are going to dive into some messages surrounding the gender of your future baby timing surrounding pregnancy signs symptoms numbers and we'll end with the question of are you currently heading towards conception through your your current actions okay through what you're currently doing um now i do want to say small disclaimer none of this is meant to replace any type of medical advice and this is a collective reading so please take what resonates and leave the rest for the rest okay now if you're interested in getting a personalized reading to look into gender timing signs symptoms and so much more including 
Is your baby currently heading towards you? Are they in line for conception? What's their journey looking like? And then we'll compare it to your journey. The fertility package is the session for you, okay? It's linked in my description box as well as in my comment section and you can check it out and you can also see all the details that are included within it okay so check that out and i also have a few other specials going on um, if you're watching this when i post it i am posting this on my birthday week so during the week of 9 17 through 9 i don't know what the end of the week is but the week of, the, of 9 17 2023 um that sunday i have I, i've already had a lot of specials going on but i have more coming up okay so make sure you're checking out my site as well as, and the community tab here, okay? I, I post them here as well. So you can see what I'm offering and see what you may wanna connect with your baby through, okay? So let's dive in. Let's get started with gender. We already have gender selected. And then we have timing and your last message already pre-selected as well. We'll go ahead and do some live shuffling with the signs and symptoms because I know some of you guys really enjoy the live shuffle, okay? So as far as um, baby's gender, we have a couple of cards here. So I'm going to flip them both over. Let's see what we have here. As far as for pile number two, we have baby girl energy with the queen of pentacles. And we have baby boy. So some of you guys may have a girl. Some of you guys may have a boy. Okay, some of you guys have both on their way to you. Okay, um, I don't see twin energy, but I'll see throughout if I'm picking up the multiples. But I do feel like some of you guys have a baby boy and a baby girl in spirit. Okay, um, that connect with you often. So they wanted to make themselves present okay um now as far as timing goes let me get the cards here you guys have one no two time frames okay i'm like we have two two babies we have two time frames um but these time frames may resonate with um they may work together or they may be different okay and please remember this is collective so it won't resonate with everyone but i urge you to get a personal session so that you can see what your specific time frame is i even have a gender and timing reading if you just want to know that information okay so let's see what we have here as far as timing we have the two of swords and we have the death card so I, I am seeing scorpio and libra season to be significant okay so libra season is um September, October, and then uh, Scorpio season is October, November. So there's a, you know, we have a common denominator here. <laughs> okay, we have, a, there's a common factor here, the month of October. So um, some of you guys, or the majority of you guys will be conceiving um, either in September, October, or November, or your baby may be due during that time. I'm also seeing, we have the Queen of Pentacles here, which is December, and then we also, which is Capricorn season, and then we also have the sun here, which is Leo season, which is August, July, August. Okay, so that can also resonate with some of my goddesses here as well. And my fertility gods, you may be conceiving or giving birth to your baby around that time. Now, as far as the sign that they're going to show you, let's see what your sign of pregnancy will be. Let's see what sign your baby will send to you or show you around the time of conception um, or right before you get your positive pregnancy test. We have a few signs. We literally have three signs that just flew out. Okay, so we have, these are um, meerkats. Okay, so we have meerkat energy, maybe groundhogs as well, our gopher holes, okay, um, like in the ground. We also have the um, lionfish, okay? So we have a lionfish and we also have a stingray, okay? We have a stingray as well. So some of you guys, I'm also hearing this white horse, okay? So we have a white horse, a stingray, meerkat, gophers, or um, my gopher holes, or um, groundhogs, and then we also have the lionfish. Now, this is a collective read, so take what resonates. You may see one of these signs, you may see all of these signs, you may see a couple of them, but these are some of the signs that you will see from your little one um, as you travel through your journey to baby and as you get closer to conception, okay? Um, now, as far as your symptoms, see what your symptoms will be of pregnancy. I feel like you may feel fatigued, okay? We also have the sacral chakra, which is showing me that you may experience some changes to your um, inner moon cycle. You may experience implantation symptoms, cramping. I'm also picking up gas and bloating. We also have a helping hand, so you may be feeling more tired than usual. So you may need more assistance during early pregnancy. And this is like doing different things around the house. This is like getting some of your work done at, you know, at your job. Like you may ask for people to like, 
to, you know, close out certain accounts for you or whatever the case may be, whatever paperwork you may have to do, you may just not feel urged to do it. Um, you know, but like on a regular basis, it's just like you're so drained, your eyes are burning. I definitely feel like you're going to feel tired. Okay. Um, I see the sun card here where he's like yawning. We have this two, the two of swords where her eyes are like being covered there. The death card, we literally have someone laying on the ground. Like, it's just like all this fatigued energy is showing up here. I also feel like you may have some cravings. You may crave fruit or vegetables or maybe aversions to them. We also have the calves energy. So this is um, Charlie horses, okay? Funny enough, we saw the horse energy there. <laughs> and then we have the neck, okay? So I am picking up the throat with the neck energy. Um, I do feel like there could be something going on with your throat around the time of conception or finding out that you're pregnant. This could be excess mucus. This could be like you having um, a dry throat, dry mouth, okay? Um, as well as on the bottom of the deck, we have hips, which is showing me that you may have a difficult time pulling your pants up or wearing certain clothing. You may feel kind of snug to your belly or uncomfortable on your belly as that early pregnancy symptom. I think I picked up gas earlier, right? I think I said gas earlier. That's the bloating right there, okay? That's the bloat that's coming through with the hip energy. So definitely seeing bloat. Let me put that on this side, actually. All right. Now, as far as numbers go, let me see what we have here. We have the number 16, number 2, the number 13. Um, we have the number 5, 19. Um, the number 6, I believe that's 6 of Pentacles, is it? Yep, 6 of Pentacles, the number 6. And we also have the number 13, 7, 1, 17, and 8. So I'm seeing the 17th and the 18th to be really significant. You may actually see angel number 777 or 888 often okay um i do feel like you may be testing positive for pregnancy around 13 anywhere between 13 oh definitely 13 dpo we have 13 and 13 here so 13 dpo a day or two before or a day or two after can be significant but i'm really picking up 13 i just heard 11 as well 11 to 13 dpo okay could be significant for your positive pregnancy test um some of you guys may get it as early as nine days that's ovulation in this pile here okay the number nine is also standing out to me um but let me see as far as dates go okay like i said i see the 17th and the 18th i'm also picking up the 13th and we have let's see we have the 17th 18th the 16th the 13th and the 19th let me see spirit the 17th and the 18th excuse my fiance he's blowing his nose in the back i'm sure you can hear that <laughs> um <laughs> Let's see, the 17th, 18th, 19th. Okay, thank you, Spirit. So the 16th, and then the seventh. Oh, well, the same thing, the same thing. 16th to the 19th, okay? I was going to say the 16th and the 17th and the 19th, but the 16th, the 17th, the 18th, and the 19th. Those are the dates that are going to be very significant in terms of conception, finding out you're pregnant, the date that you, um, your baby may be due on or born on. Could also be a date of your very first, um, what is it, um, HCG beta, like at, at the doctor's. You could have your ultrasound on that date, okay? But there's a very important, ooh, that was strong confirmation, excuse me. The 16th through the, um, through the 19th, okay? Big time, that was strong confirmation for that. Uh, also, my fiance was blowing his nose in the background. Some of you guys may experience like feeling under the weather. I'm seeing a lot of like sleeping, a lot of um, like fatigued energy, right? Some of you guys could be feeling a bit under the weather as well, okay? A bit sick um, or something could be going on with your nose. I was picking up like the mucus in the throat, right? So you could have like a stuffy nose or feel very congested, okay? That can be a sign for you as well of pregnancy. Now, let's see what we have here coming through as far as... Your last message as goddess, okay? So we're gonna see if you are currently heading towards conception through your actions. We have the infinite abundance. And didn't I say 888 for this pile? I think I did. So we have abundance is pouring into your life, okay? We also have miracles, expect the wonders to emerge. And we have success expands in your life. Absolutely, this is my pregnancy card here, okay? And so we have that Yes, I don't mean, I don't think I have to explain it much of it, right? Um, I definitely see that you are getting ready to harvest, okay, with the abundance energy. It feels like you have invested time, energy, finances into your, your journey in some way or another. And I feel like you are getting ready to harvest, okay, um, 
your investments, okay? You can see here they are like doing apple picking, right? They are shaking the trees and getting the apples down and um, they've been planting, they have to plant, they started from a seed, right? They started from a seed. They have to wait for a while for these apples to be ripe and ready to, to go. And I feel like you're getting ready to, you are ready or you're getting ready to be ready for this miracle to emerge, okay? Um, like this card ha says here, expect the wonders to emerge. So this could catch you off guard a bit, but, or this could also be like your rainbow baby, or maybe you've been trying for a long time. Like I said, I feel like you've put a lot of time, a lot of energy, um, and a lot of investment into your journey journey and then of course we have success expands in your life okay so when you step through these these doors you're stepping into a brand new like a brand new space i heard a brand new horizon but you're getting ready to step into a brand new space where you literally have um what is it like you literally have like a whole new energy about you a whole new um i heard a whole new world and funny enough this is reminding me of aladdin okay this miracles card and i just heard a whole new world so you're, you're gonna feel like you stepped into a whole new world when you go through these gates of triumph triumph being triumphant is victorious so that's success okay um now i'm going to before we close out your reading i would like to clarify our get um outcome messages okay so i want to get an outcome message i mean i don't really feel like i need to abundance is pouring into your life let me ask Spirit what leads to this abundance, okay? What leads to this abundance? This could be what some of you guys are currently doing, okay? What is leading to this abundance, Spirit? We have the Moon, the Five of Cups, and the High Priestess, and the Page of Wands, and the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, I'll keep these. Okay, so what leads you to this abundance? What leads you to this gate, the gates of triumph, the miracle, the baby? Um, I feel like there's something here that you have to release and let go of. You have to walk away. You took action, walk away from. You have you took action, you decided to step away from looking at the um past as like unfortunate, right? A ser I heard a series of a for unfortunate events. Okay, so some of you guys have felt like cycle after cycle, or maybe it has been, cycle after cycle, you're getting a negative test and you feel like that's a very um, like uh, dampering energy that you have in, in your journey or damper, you feel like it's just, it's something that has been very harsh or affected, has affected your fertility journey very strongly. I hope that makes sense, okay? I feel like it has caused you to be distracted. The emotions have caused you to be distracted um, and it has caused you to have certain fears and also formulate certain illusions around your journey that are not going to, that are not going to create themselves. They're not going to prosper, okay? Um, with the moon energy, this could be surrounding your inner moon cycle. I do feel like one of the things that leads you to this infinite abundance is by you finding out or discovering the truth, okay, about what's going on in, within your body or possibly what has been hidden. It's like the hidden, what has been hidden comes to light, okay? This only happens through your discovery, being in discovery mode, being in curiosity mode, not sitting in stagnation, not wondering like, oh, I guess, you know, maybe this month, maybe this month. I do feel like there is this energy of you needing to take the lead, you needing to delegate certain energies or certain tasks to certain people. Um, there's certain things that you can do, but there's certain things that other people may need to assist you with. So this could be you going to a fertility specialist, this could be you going to a holistic doctor, a naturopath, um, whatever it may be for you. But whatever this is, it leads you to stability. With the Ten of Pentacles, it leads you to full on stability within your body. You conceive your baby when you are in a state of stability, whether this is financially or this is in regards to your your hormones in regards to your um, your reproductive system in regards to your fluids okay whatever this is here there's something that has finally stabilized that was kind of kind of going in and out right there was a lot of imbalance that was that was present and so it's like you took the time to work on it with the infinite abundance right and then finally entering this harvesting season you're finally entering this space of where you can finally harvest what you have all the you know put all the time and energy into but like i said it does take time it does take energy and it does take effort okay and i feel like a lot of you guys may have already been putting in this effort and that's why you were drawn to this reading okay 
for some of you guys, you are in stagnation. And this is something that you're being called to do. You're, you're stuck in this space here where you are too busy looking at the past, too busy seeing the things that did not go as planned and really taking that to heart, right? And letting that affect you emotionally, which is stagnating you in this one space, okay? Once you decide, like this card here, once he decides to turn around and stop looking at these spilled cups and he turns around, he'll see that he has two new opportunities for him. And this, these two new opportunities are also going to help his eye catch a bridge that's going to help him cross the river, right? So he's no longer going to be stuck on one side. He now has access to going back and forth and doing the things that he wants. He's freed his so I definitely feel like that resonates with some of you guys here that once you decide to turn around and leave the past in the past, acknowledge it, right? It's happened for a reason. Maybe I need to discover, step into my discovery mode. Why did this happen, right? Or I need to reach out to someone who can help me discover why this has happened for me um, and expect the best. I'm hearing expect the best. Do not expect the, the past to return. Do not expect the past to um, repeat itself. Expect the best moving forward, okay? Um, say, go away fears, go away illusions, right? I know it's so much easier said than done, right? But I definitely feel like the more you believe in yourself, the more energy you give to your ability of I can, the more you're going to be able to do so and the, the greater energy there is of you completing and being successful, okay? Completing your mission and being successful, okay? So that's what I have for you, pile number two. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I definitely did. <laughs> um, if you have any questions or you want to let me know how it resonates with you, you can put it down below in the comment section. I love to converse with you guys. I don't get a chance to write back to every single person, but um, I do try to like the, the, the comments and um, acknowledge them eventually, okay? So um, if you write a comment and I don't reply, please know that I am reading it. I'm just kind of waiting till I have a time to reply, okay? <laughs> um, and so anyways, write down below. Make sure you like the video um, and join the family by hitting the subscribe button. And I will see you in my next reading. Bye. Hello, my beautiful fertility goddesses and my fertility gods who chose pile number three. Welcome to your TTC mini fertility goddess reading. You are here because you are on a journey to baby and you want to know more about your journey. So that's exactly what we're going to dive into today. Okay, we're going to dive into the gender of your future baby, timing surrounding pregnancy, signs, symptoms, numbers, and then we'll end with the question of, are you heading towards conception through your current actions at this time? Okay, now if you're interested in booking this for as a personal, I do have a Fertility Goddess package and that is a perfect session for you if this is something that you enjoy. Now in the um, Fertility Goddess package, that one is a lot more in depth, okay? This is a mini um, and the one that is more in depth includes both messages from your baby side of things and your side of things. So we could kind of dive into, well not kind of, we do dive into um, your baby's energy, what's going on on their end, okay? Are they currently in line for conception? Are they working on their soul contracts? Are like, what's happening? Um, and then what you can do to help your baby come to earth. We'll also look at, will you be conceiving your baby naturally? And so much more, okay? Um, so let's dive into your message. Okay, so as far as the gender of your baby, we have a baby boy. Okay, so we have the Knight of Cups, which is a very loving, um, empathic, okay, baby boy. I feel like this little one could have strong water in their chart. Okay, so this can be um, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. They can have this as their sun, moon, rising, or their Venus sign, or just multiple placements of water in their birth chart, okay? As far as timing goes, we have that card already pre-selected, um, and then I'm also seeing, um, seeing. <laughs> we have a card pre-selected, and we also have the cards for the last message pre-selected. So I'm gonna flip those cards off to the side here as we look at the timeline, and then the timing card, and then we'll live shuffle your um, signs and symptoms and numbers, okay? So as far as timing goes, okay, I have the lovers here. This is showing me Gemini season, okay? So this is May, June energy surrounding either the conception of your baby or the birth of your baby, okay? Um, and so I think you guys are the only pile who has one time frame. So this is very strongly connected to 
um, your months. You guys can also have a strong connection to Pisces season. Pisces season can also be a time frame of conception or birth for some of you guys, but I feel like the majority of you guys will be conceiving or giving birth around May, June, maybe the month before, month after as well can kind of play a part, okay? So let's dive into your sign now. What sign will you see around the time of conception when you conceive this baby boy? Let's see here. Okay, as far as sign of conception for pile number three, we have the Ace of Swords, okay? And this is showing me a swan. So a swan is your sign of um, conception. So you may see swans on social media, TV, real life, on a book cover, um, on a movie title. You may also see yellow feathers. Okay, I'm picking up yellow feathers as well. Now, as far as pregnancy symptoms, one of your signs of pregnancy, I feel, may be in relation to... Um, what is it? Um, mood swings. Mood swings, okay. And then how I just forgot and I've been saying like words differently um, throughout your reading. I feel like there can also be some messages surrounding you like forgetfulness, okay? Like I feel like it's another message coming through. Forgetfulness, like pregnancy brain, right? And then mood swings I'm seeing here, feeling very emotional. We also have the throat chakra as well as the third eye. So I am seeing that you may experience some changes or some discomfort, okay, in your throat more so. I feel this could be discomfort, maybe a sore throat, maybe feeling under the weather possibly. We have the third eye chakra, which is showing me, um, you may intuitively just know. A lot of you guys may already just kind of feel like your baby's connected to Gemini season. That can just be like an intuitive feeling or you've already, you've always felt like you're going to have a boy, okay? Um, but I am seeing that during pregnancy, you're also going to just have this intuitive feeling, this inner knowing that you're pregnant okay um, and then I'm also seeing here with the eyes okay with the eyes oh okay before we get into that actually all three of these kind of relate to each other so the eyes throat chakra and the third eye chakra I'm seeing there's something here it says soul connection through truth and intuition there's something here coming through about your baby speaking to you I feel like your baby's going to let you know when they're on their way it's like you guys are going they're going to like come to visit you either in your dreams or some sort of sign visitation something they're going to uh, let you know maybe you know someone maybe they speak through someone else as well so this could be like a friend having a conversation with you and then they're like you know what i had the weirdest feeling the other day that you're going to conceive soon or you're going to get pregnant soon right and are like there's something here about or your partner may say um did you start your cycle like are you know have you tested for pregnancy this month you know like there's something here about like there a conversation being had about your um your baby on being on their way but it's like your little one has initiated this this conversation in some way okay like i said they could even just visit you in your dreams and you wake up and you're like oh my gosh like that felt so real you know it could be baby's way of saying like i'm close i'm on my way okay um I'm definitely feeling like your baby's going to connect with you or through their own soul they're going to be delivering this message to you okay um but with the eyes i am seeing tired okay maybe feeling tired fatigued we have a crown chakra here so i do feel like you could once again it says wisdom so i definitely feel like this is around pregnancy brain okay <laughs> forgetfulness definitely feeling cloudy minded um also you could experience headaches that can be a sign of like especially if you're feeling under the weather having a sore throat or um, you know, I feel like that could also be a part of this energy here that's coming through. Now, as far as numbers go, we have the ace, which is the number one. We have the number um, six, the number 20, 21, 22, and 15. So obviously the 20th through the 22nd, those are some really significant numbers for you. And then we have the six, the 15th. We actually have six there and then five plus one is six again. So we have five, five, five. Five by five. We have six 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 coming through as a strong number for you. And I'm also hearing five five five. I almost said five five five. So that's another strong number for you. 
So the 5th, the 6th, and then the 20th through the 22nd of a month are going to be very significant in terms of conception or birth of your baby. I'm also here in the 16th, okay, um, the 15th and the 16th as well. Now this can be, like I said, conception. This can be the date you find out you're pregnant. It can also represent the date of birth, the date that you your baby's due on, your first ultrasound, okay, and so forth. So it can be a very significant date surrounding your conception journey or your pregnancy journey. Okay, now we're going to move over into your last part of your reading goddess. Like I said, this is a mini fertility goddess reading, so it won't be very long from this point okay, to the end. But if you want more details, you can definitely book your own personal fertility goddess package where we look at your baby's energy and kind of see where they're, you know, what's going on with them. And then we look at your energy and we compare the two. Okay, are you in alignment? Are they in alignment? Um, and... Yeah, okay, so we're gonna look at, are you in alignment right now? This is what we're looking at, okay? And in the personal reading, we'll look at both, okay? So let's go ahead and see here what we have coming through about mama, okay? Mama or papa, are they in alignment for your conception? We have simplify your life. We have clear the air. We also have support is all around you. And we have opening to your spiritual source. So I feel like for this pile, I feel like you guys, um, I don't feel conception alignment per se with this pile, but I do feel like you're on a journey. This journey feels a lot, um, it feels very spiritual to me. It feels very um, like, um, I, heard, I heard on the road again, okay? So it feels like you're going through a transition in life, a journey in life. We have traveling lightly, which says simplify your life. He threw everything that he knew in the trash can. He only has his little what's it called banjo on his back it says this way so he's heading in a new direction he's going into something new so it gives me the full energy but we also have clear the air which says distant thunder so this is showing me that maybe you're moving away from some things that were causing some chaos in your life or some chaos in your journey or you're trying to figure figure it out right now you're trying to figure it out is what i'm hearing okay trying to figure out how to clear the air how to have how to be able to breathe better right um and so i do feel like like you guys are working through this energy right now and spirit is saying that you do have the support that you need support is all around you it's in everything you see it's in everyone you speak to there's going to be little messages little signs your baby has not left your side is what i'm hearing i'm just hearing that as you discover yourself as you figure things out for yourself you are going to be um, accompanied by your baby and they're going to show up in many different forms we even have like a quail here that a quail that's a peacock okay we have a peacock here and it was reminding me of this bird the swan so your baby may present themselves to you as in bird form okay you may even see feathers from them as well or rainbows but i do feel like your little one's going to be like you're, you'll see different people different the animals different um experiences you'll have okay that'll kind of remind you of your baby and remind you of the fact that you want to have a child or that you're on this journey to baby or maybe you're taking a mini break while you you know figure some things out but you're going to get reminders throughout this journey whatever this journey is for you for many of you it's very spiritual it's really in terms of connecting with self okay i'm seeing like with this um this gentleman here with this fertility god he's walking with his walking stick he reminds me of wisdom and he also reminds me of like a spiritual or religious connection and then we literally have finding sanctuary so trying to find peace within and it says opening to your spiritual source so this is really about going within here on this journey um i feel like maybe to discover some things about yourself possibly to find the truth we do have the truth here a few times actually we have the ace of swords we have the truth card we have the soul connection wisdom we have intuition okay so this is this whole reading is all about you finding truth about you trusting your the your intuition and the way that you are being led to complete your journey or to move forward in your journey at this time so a lot of my goddesses and my gods in this pile you guys may not be actively trying to conceive at this time but maybe you were previously or maybe you will be very soon okay um and so i am recording this in september this is a timeless reading so whenever you see it it is meant to find you but to have the time frame of july as well um i mean june july you could be conceiving at this time right you could be due in june july i'm sorry may june right it's a time frame so if you were to conceive in september which is the month i'm i'm um 
recording this in, you could be doing June, but I really do feel like a lot of you guys, this is conception for next May, June, okay? Next Gemini season is what I'm hearing. Um, or this, if you have distance between, whenever you're watching this, if you have distance between May and June, okay? Um, then in, it, in terms of birth, then it may be birth, okay? Because I feel like there's a little bit of time before conception occurs, okay? Now, before we close out your reading, I am going to clarify a few things here. I'm going to ask her a few questions with the tarot. Um, let's see. So let's start with traveling lightly. Simplify your life. Spirit, how are they meant to simplify their life? What are they being um, called to pay attention to, okay, at this time in order to bring simplification to their life or their journey, okay? We have the Fool card. I literally, did I say that? I Did I say this reminds me of the Fool? Because it does. I think I was going to say that, but I don't know if I did. The Fool card, okay? Like, straight out simplification this card represents the same exact message here we also have wow the tower which is this card here let me just lay these out because i feel like there's there's literally four okay there's literally four so um i feel like they're i feel like you're being called or you're being awakened to um of course simplicity but a new beginning that you're meant to venture on at this time once again he has his little you know um, knapsack or his little bag on his back. He has his flower. He's ready to step into the space of purification. We even have a little animal there, okay? There's a companion that I was talking about. Your baby's showing up in many different ways, especially through animals, butterflies. You may see insects by you, um, dragonflies. You may see birds big time, okay? I'm seeing those cardinal birds. You may see cardinal red birds, okay, um, by you as well because there's something here that was unstable with the tower energy. That's why Spirit is wanting you to clear the air Spirit is wanting you to, um, what is it? It's like you're, you're meant to take, um, be awakened or what is the, I guess the word is awakened to be awakened to what's going on around you or what's going on within your, your environment. Um, so that either you don't have this tower moment or so that when this tower moment comes, because it could come here, we do have it here twice. Um, when this tower moment does come, you are prepared for it in the best way possible, okay? I don't feel like this tower moment is negative at all. I honestly feel like it's going to be, um, it may feel a bit trying emotionally, especially we have the King of Cups here and the Page of Swords, but I do see that you are going to make it through. And what we have beneath these messages are the Seven of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles, which is showing me that by you persevering, by you um, fighting and believing um, and fighting and advocating for yourself, you are going to be given this brand new opportunity for growth. So it's not that this is the end, okay? This is a pause. This is a, um, a time for you to reflect or the view something differently spirit is like mm -mm, things have been too chaotic things have been too overwhelming too overbearing for you and it's time to let some things go so spirit is helping that um happen or making that happen or helping that happen for you with the tower energy and they're like you can control this as long as you don't allow your your emotions to drive you to control you throughout you know this tower energy or throughout this healing journey um your, your emotions are just a part, I'm hearing they're just a part of the, the of the package, okay? They just come along with the ride, but they're not the ride. You're not meant to be in your emotional state and see that as the ride that you're meant to be on. You're meant to take that as a part of like a, I guess a souvenir, if you will, okay, with the ride. Um, but because of the emotional um, energy surrounding this, this change, this shift, this tower moment, I am seeing that there is indeed some sort of growth that's happening within your emotions as well, maturity, if you will, okay, um, where you will be able to step into the space of controlling your emotions and everything else is going crazy around you like he has some rocky waters. When everything else is going chaotic and crazy around you, you are the only one that is still trusting yourself, right? You are the, you are not allowing the outside influences to are the outside experiences to influence your internal energy, okay? And so that's what you're building upon right now, okay? That's what that's something that you're getting ready to step into if you haven't already. And something that Spirit is also blessing you with, okay? That, that energy of being able to um, 
control within and that's why you're finding that's how you're finding sanctuary that's where you're being called to find sanctuary meditate do mind other mindfulness activities do things that bring peace of mind right um connect with your inner child okay do some shadow work even is what i feel here with this page of swords energy um but yeah that's what i'm seeing for this pile here i do feel like you guys will be successful but there is a a um a moment of like what is this called uh it still sounds like a detour, okay? I'm hearing detour. So it's like it's, it's like a moment of a detour, but you're going to go right. You're going to go back, okay? You just have to go around the rock or over the mountain, right? Through the tunnel, whatever it may be. It's a little different than you thought and you expected, but, okay, you will find your way back, okay? So this is what I have for you, pile number three. Now, if you want to get more detailed messages about what to, to expect in your journey, then definitely click the link in my description box or in my comment section for a personal reading. I appreciate all of you guys who have booked with me for my birthday deals. I am so grateful for you. All the birthday love that's been sent, whether it was a donation, it was a, um, like a, a tip, okay, <laughs> um, or a booking. I appreciate you all. I love you guys all thank you so so much um and i will still be continuing birthday deals this week but if you're watching this later after september um let's see 19th 20th 21st 22nd 23rd probably go through the september 24th probably throughout the whole rest of the month to be honest maybe not deals but i do have some special things upcoming for you guys um but if you're watching this after September 2023, please know this is timeless, so it's okay. <laughs> okay, your message still applies. But I may have other deals going on, so check out my website. It's in the description box and in the comment section. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and join the family by hitting the subscribe button. All right, I'll see you in your next reading. Bye.